paddling the St. Mary's River in three different spots, all the way from the beginning of it and then all the way down the river. There's so many different versions of paddling that you can do. And when you use Sault Ste. Marie as your home base, what you do is you go out, paddle a spot, come back, eat, do something downtown. Go out, paddle a spot, come back. It's really an awesome way to do it. And it's made for maybe the most paddling that we've ever done in a weekend. So now we're paddling a section of the Whiskey River that feeds out into the bay that goes to the St. Mary's River. When I looked it up on a map, it looked like it said Whiskey River. I grew up here. We always called it Whiskey River. So I don't know what it's actually called, but let's go. Oh, we could park our boards right here and go eat. That's pretty sweet. Let's keep that one. The bay looks so calm right now. What an awesome spot. So if you're wondering where we are right now, we're pretty much at the most western end of the upper St. Mary's River. So it's right where Superior meets the river, really. So right around the corner over there. The Masabi Miner was just heading into the St. Mary's, which means it'll be getting into the locks in a little bit. So if we can, we might be able to catch it as it goes through the locks. So just to quickly catch you up, we took our paddle boards out, we drove them into the Sioux, we drove down Portage, stopped at Sugar Daddy's, had this thing, saw that the Masabi Miner was, yes, in fact, in the locks. It is coming out of the locks, and now we are here waiting for the Masabi Miner. I say this every time we're on the water with freighters, uh, we give them plenty of space. They're way out in the channel and then we're on the other side of the rock piles where they don't come at all. So um, just take some precaution, but once you're on the water with them, trust me, it feels plenty close. It's really crazy how calm and peaceful it can be back here behind this island and right on the other side is where the thousand footers go by. So at Dunbar Park, it's kind of cool because there's two rivers, really. There's the Charlotte River, which is going up inland, and then there's the St. Mary's River. And so it's kind of a two for one paddle. And we're gonna try to do both and hopefully catch a couple ships as they're going by on the St. Mary's. I think that's the cleanest underneath the bridge I've ever seen. There's not even dust under there. This is a two directional one, so you can easily paddle up the river and then easily paddle back down. So you really only need one car. So you can go as far as you want then turn around when you're ready. making the turn to go through the rock cut, the really narrow spot between the mainland and Nebish Island. That out there, that's a Canadian Coast Guard ship and it's a buoy tender. So that thing on the back is to place buoys, move buoys around as needed, but 
That is a Canadian Coast Guard ship. When we're done with this, you want to go to the cozy? Yeah, I'm getting hungry. Those are incredible. Sometimes I find myself trying to explain what the St. Mary's River is because when people think of rivers, they think of like a narrow passage in which people can kind of navigate up them a little bit. But the St. Mary's River is huge. It's the main shipping channel that connects Lake Superior to Lake Huron and Lake Michigan. Look how big it is. The river is like a mile wide. So no matter how many times you're out here, no matter what you're doing, there's always a new spot to explore or a new like island that you can paddle around or something like that. And for me, that's what makes it so impressive. And that's why we use Sault Ste. Marie as the home base. And then from there, we go out and explore. 